It's Yi Legend speaking. What will be the most important change between today and tomorrow's entertainment? The most important change for the car industry right now is the autonomous mode, the autonomous feature of the car. The fact that finally you will not totally interact with the car the same way that you interact today because you have to drive it. As soon as you don't have to drive it, then you are not anymore in a car and then the whole entertainment of the car changed radically. How does Peugeot begin to address the development of entertainment inside a car? You have the, the Peugeot vision of what should be the next entertainment experiences in a car. So you have the opportunity to discover new entertainment contents. You have a very and totally immersive experiences thanks to all the screens that uh, are embedded into this uh, concept car. You have also the voice recognition I'm actually discussing with the car. Three things necessary for a great car entertainment experience. The first one would be the sound. We need a very hi-fi sound to, to provide the best and most immersive experiences to our customer. Second condition should be to provide the best content, uh, personalized and, um, and qualitative content. The third one should be the visual. Because as soon as you have the, the sound and you have the good content, then you can provide additional content. As soon as you don't drive, for example, you, you, you can look at something else on the road. And then audiovisual content uh, should be also something that is expected for the best, let's say, uh, entertainment experiences in the near future. What non-automotive experience would you like to put inside a car? Everything is non-automotive, except maybe the steering wheel and the pedals. But the rest is non-automotive. Uh, phone is non-automotive. Uh, voice interaction is not automotive. Uh, whatever you can see in this concept come from the outside and the, we have uh, succeeded to integrate everything that is really relevant and non-automotive inside an automotive. Will autonomous cars and flight entertainment become synonymous? I hope that there will be differences because uh, entertainment uh, in plane are a bit, let's say, limited. Here you can see that we would like to create an unlimited experience. We can make this transparent, for example, to be able to see what's going on outside. We can interact with the external uh, world in my car. I would, I would like to be able to say, okay, what is this place here? What is this, uh, this castle over there? I would like to be able to do much more than what I, I can do actually in a, in a plane.